With more people working from home this year, space has become a priority. And what once may have been a rarely used guest bedroom may now be an office or schoolroom. What to do with the holidays coming and guests on their way to visit? If it's a working space, there may be little you can do to keep from working in it when you need to. But assuming a bed is still in the room, you can make sure this space becomes a cozy retreat for guests once your working hours are over. Hi, I'm Mark Renner from Berkshire Hathaway Ambassador Real Estate. I'm known as Mr. Omaha and I've been voted the outstanding agent in Omaha twice. You know, this holiday season, they say, don't travel, don't have guests. But I know many of you are going to have guests. You're going to have family, maybe your family members that you've always spent Christmas with, some kids, some grandkids, and you're missing them and you want to see them. So be sure to do this in a safe manner. But let's talk about hosting holiday guests in limited space today. Most guests don't require much to make them feel at home. So here are seven tips to make sure your guests will feel both comfortable and welcome. Number one, make room in the closet. It's frustrating to live out of a suitcase, so be sure there is space in the closet and empty hangers, even if it means cramming your own closet with seasonal garb during your guest visit. Two, add fresh flowers. Little makes a guest feel more welcome than being greeted with fresh flowers. Put a vase in the room, albeit a small one, with flowers purchased or from your garden. Number three, set a welcoming bed. If the guest bed linens or comforter looks tired, this would be a good time to replace them. Four, keep towels handy. Some guests hesitate to ask for what they need. So stock a basket in the guest bedroom or bath with plenty of towels plus extra soap and any accessories or cosmetics you think your guests may need. And five, provide bedside reading. Some people need to wind down before they can sleep. Stock the bedside with a few current magazines or books. If you're not sure about your guest taste, leave a few you've read and enjoy. And six, share the Wi-Fi password. You know, it's a computer world that we live in, a digital world that we live in. A guest who doesn't get onto your Wi-Fi earlier may want it when settling down for the night. So leave the number prominently displayed in a note on the pillow. And provide daytime nap space. If you're working in the guest room by day and your guest is either elderly or has young children or is an avid napper like me, be sure they know the best space where they can enjoy a daytime snooze. So I thank you for watching my video today. Again, I'm Mark Renner from Berkshire Hathaway. Uh, if you want to discuss anything about real estate, what the market's going to be like next year, getting your home ready to put on the market, or if you're thinking about downsizing, give me a call, 402-690-1687 or an email, mark at markrenner.com. I also encourage you to go to my website and browse. That is www.markrenner.com. Have a very Merry Christmas. Practice safe things such as washing your hands, wearing your mask, and social distancing. And be well. Take care.